Hello and uh, welcome to another special episode of mine. Uh, this time it's 1987 E28. It's uh, 525E. We have some small issues we have to take care yeah. of. Uh, instrument cluster, we have problem with this. The dials, or how you call it, which uh, reads the mileage. After refueling, he reset the numbers. They got stuck. I have to figure that out what's wrong with it, maybe take it apart, maybe there's like a mechanical issue, maybe there's like a, I don't know, I haven't done this before, so it's gonna be like something new for me. Yeah. Those numbers here, which counts uh, kilometers, doesn't like roll, they doesn't move, they are stuck in somewhere, and I was checking the internet and uh, I found out that uh, there's like three small gears inside of it. They become brittle. The small teeth, they just break. When you do that kind of job, the first you have to remove the cluster because there's third wheel, if I remember correctly, 12 up to 21 teeth. So you have to count them before you order the fixing set. Usually there should be like two screws one here, one here, but those are missing, so it's much easier for me, but I will check what kind of uh, screws there should be and I'm gonna replace them, try to find the new ones. And uh, also I have the small issue with the steering column adjustment, it doesn't move, it's stuck. I can't get the instrument cluster out between the dashboard and the steering wheel. I have to remove the steering wheel, which is pretty easy, so just remove the BMW badge carefully and uh, also uh, mark, I usually use like masking tape, uh, mark the position of the steering wheel. Uh, there's number 22 socket, remove it and that's all. It's much easier but if your column adjustment works like it should then just pull it towards you as much as you can and as low as you can and cluster should come out easy. Sounds easy. Well, let's see. Is it easy? Small flat screwdriver. Piece of cake. Then I have the masking tape. Cut it open here. And it should be fine. Ah. As I told you before, I don't have the screws up here. I'm using the uh, trim panel tool. So, let's take it out. There's three connectors, white, blue and yellow. One, two and three. Here it is. Took me like, what, three minutes? So, to the next step. Step number two. Find the screwdriver. Uh, remove all those screws. There should be nine something. Okay. And here's the issue. Here are the gears. This one, two and one at the bottom. That's three. I need to count the lower one's teeth one by one so I'm gonna take it apart and I'm trying to count it I hope I don't mess it up now there's uh, two flat screws one here one here uh, remove them now there's a transparent cover slowly and carefully maybe you should remove these as well Okay, you have to bend this uh, plate a little bit downwards. Here are the gears. Just pull them off like this. One and two. This is the gear we need to count. Uh, lower gears. Those we need to count here as I checked there is 12 up to 21 gears, so let's count them. So I'm gonna just mark the first one, so I know. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. Actually there is uh, marked the number of the gears. Lower one 13, upper one 48. I don't know, are all of them uh, have the markings on the gear? I have no idea, but mine has. So I finally got the gears from this company. And there's three gears in that small bag. Let's first take it apart the cluster and then we will see. Now, now we finally see the gears. We need to replace them all. Seller of the gears is called Snapporaj Motor Garage. Mm, I hope I pronounced right. So, and uh, there's a specific announcement on the package: do not lubricate the gears. So they have to be just clean as they come from the package. Let's start with the first one. Last time I just pulled it off. Yep, the second one. And the small third one. That is stuck. But now we have a little problem. The sleeve stuck on the shaft. So the sleeve is stuck on the shaft. We have to figure that out. How to pull it off without breaking it. Small amount of rust loose and let it soak a little bit. Maybe it will help. Otherwise, here's the difference with old one and new one. It's gonna be the pain in the ass. It's not moving at all. The problem is, it's so small, I can't use any force. I hope this helps. F yeah, I'm a genius. You probably don't see it, it's too small, but... Now, let's clean it. Just push it almost down. Uh, at least the instructions says uh, leave about 0.5 millimeter cap under here. But it's almost the same like the old one. Just to make sure that they are lined up they are perfectly like they should be. It's done. It's not very hard to do by yourself, but beware that uh, just take time. There's a lot of small components and uh, just don't break them. It's not like doing a suspension overhaul that you need big tools and like that. Just take it slowly. If you mess it up, it's quite hard to find E28 clusters one more time, I'm gonna remind you. Take it slowly. Trust me. Looks like it's working. At least it's counting meters. That's promising already.
before I drove here it didn't count any any meters or kilometers at all so looks like a success That's good, that's good. So, the job is done and I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have something to say then there's comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and I hope you see you soon. Bye!